and I'm still waiting. Not great Mr. options. Carey, Mr. Carry player. I, I'm saying play? that I, I, against the heroes like Shadow Demon, I just want Morphling. Like to lane against Tide. The BSJ Morphling. You love to see it. Uh, you'd, I'd love to see a niche of Morphling. I don't oh, know about a BSJ oh. Morphling. <laughs> oh, Void. Okay. Another Void. Our big team fight alt. Um, it could be a nice game. Time dilation is very good against a lot of these heroes. Here and perhaps can guarantee this bottom rune. Will he even get it, though, is the question. And uh, the coin says no. There's a high five over the Fisher. <laughs> Team's in good spirits. You'll have to see the mail gets the DD. I mean, this is a great start for him, definitely. Uh, the other hero to talk about is the Tide Hunter facing off against the Faceless Void. Oftentimes, people talk about uh, Tide just being a really good matchup against any melee hero. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be a tough lane for Nisha, do you think? I think with the Crystal Maiden, it, it, she's not the best support right in these situations. In fact, Puppy's even getting ran at right now with that gush early on, the telekinesis, and looking for a first blood here. One more punch. Oh, and Crit going to pick it up. What is the creeps, because he knows that he'll be able to come back from afterwards and just kills them off and shuts down the Enigma's laning potential. Good positioning here from Yavsor as the bounty runes are coming. Unfortunately, does he have the time? Yeah, he'll be fine. Yeah. Got the Fisher easy peasy. And but is that a three for one? Oh, that looks, looks like they're going to be able to pick up more than a few of them. And also getting some more damage again on the puppy. The captain keeps on getting beat down. Three kills so far for Crit. Oh, give the guy a the nice little spree if he's able to get it. And yes, it is going to be a win as... That is the worst. <laughs> Almost level six now. Yeah. At five and a half minutes. With his support feeding three times, the tactical feed from puppy comes out. It's genius. <laughs> <laughs> Complained uh, the entire time through, definitely. Uh, but still, Sven sitting top. The CS afterwards, after clearing through those Eidolons and the rotation moving in. Fly trying to make sure that Yapsor is not going to be able to be effective with the rotation. Instead, it's mid one that might end up going down. Dive all deeds out, doing a good bit of damage. Is it going to be quite enough though? EMP draining all the Invoke mana. Invoke the one. Chase needs it again. It's going to be enough to save him. All Invoker the at the last second fly, trying to make it work. Needs another Shadow Poison out, and mid one with that Quas is regening through it all. Secret salvage. All right, Absolute I'm just saying. disaster. I'm just saying XP streak. That's all. A bit too far. So having those huge nukes coming from crit now, you can see the damage being dealt, and it was just that quick reaction and that ward. The ward you talked about yeah. in that bottom lane, scouting it all out. That That is the most value ward I've seen in a long time, I got to say. And from an area of the map that doesn't necessarily get that much play, but it feels like EG have they forced it, right? By the way they're oh. controlling the lanes. Looking for the catch, Nisha. Gonna pop the BKB and just turn to fight. Puppy gonna pop the ultimate as well. Isn't it enough to kill off Sumail? I think the answer is yes. And now looking for Fly, Nisha able to make the move for his team. As they Ooh. did not anticipate that BKB. And instant smoke too from Yavsor. He says, I've got more here. I don't quite have my blink dagger, but I want to force a fight while we're at the advantage. Mid one chasing. Oh, mid one has a feeling. Crit is going to be the one that's caught, and Arteezy needs to get the heck out of here. If he is not careful, might get killed off afterwards. Tornado going to fight. Oh, he stole it. They're in trouble. Trying to get the time away. Crit's actually living through it. They follow up the follow up stun, but it's not going to happen. <laughs> There's a, uh, a backstab here, but EG, they, they still like what they see with mid one being dead. So contemplating a, a mid push here, Arteezy, he's being so stealthy, he's not even using his Midas, which I know is killing him inside. Yes. But he waits for that perfect jump. We all go through pain for the victory. He's itching right now. <laughs> uh, the camp's just right up there. But they're really itching something for good. jump in as they catch out Sai yet again. Another round. Evil geniuses keep on finding these picks offs, and it's the vision. Oh, yeah, geez. It was 23 camp stacked by EG in the previous match compared to the five of Secret. Of course, it made a little bit of sense when you've got a Sven and a Leshrac, but still, they. They are materializing gold. They have perfected alchemy with the alchemist band. <laughs> so EG just very on today as they take the field. Smoke up right now, S4 again. They spot out Zai. This could be the man that they want to jump on. Roche, two and a half minutes before it's going to respond. Mm, scouting Sunstrike there from mid one just to ensure that nothing. Oh, they're, they're all happening. together to jump for it, S4! He finds him all again! They can't come to it. The follow-up coming though, Nisha's already there. He's trying to take down one. He wants to kill off Grit so they can get a black hole afterwards. The turnaround coming from Zai. Can they kill him all off in the duration of it? Puppy chasing Bartizzi. He pops the BKB, runs to fight, catches out Nisha. Can they kill him off in time? Yeah, throw with the hand the second turnaround. Give him the okie doke. And Secret still seeing if they can find Sumail, but they're not going to be able to. With all those heroes dead so quickly, all the ultis used. Amplifying everything with the attack speed. 
33 minutes in, and again, S4 doesn't have the Ravage this time. Nisha up on the low ground, starts to find him, gets the lift up though for the they turnaround. Sunstrike, it's not there. He has Chronosphere, but he just didn't use it. And now Chase Ford finds the second round of it. They group up Mark Nisha, only able to find one, but it might be a good enough one at that. But the disruption coming from Fly, saving his buddy life, need to get the heck out of there. Sumail gets the Yule Scepter lift up, still lives through it, and now Puppy is the one who's going to get caught. And that Chronosphere was not good enough. Crazy Ravage is now steal. back up. Chasing Ford, RTZ finds one, the Ravage again, the interrupt, and now the follow-up. They've got Nisha to go for the Malefice. They can kill him off in time before he's able to get the jump away. EG find three. You gotta play it as safe as can be. You don't wanna be the first mover if you're EG either, right? right. Unless you see a, this like perfect opportunity, which is always hard to get going high ground, you would rather they throw the chrono first, right? Put the pressure on secret. Don't reveal yourselves as this Rubik or in the only feed out your last rack with his Aegis. And we do maybe see one of the problems that secret have in this game or rather EG have in this game is there's a lot of out spam, a lot of damage spells from Secret that don't require a big initiation. Yeah, but now we do have a BKB on uh, Sumail to help replace that Aegis. Oh, crit. They realize he's there. Jumped on him. That's four is in the median on top of him. Look at the damage coming that out. That was a mini. Oh, my God. They didn't stand a chance, and Crit looking to try and chase him down. They don't have buyback on the Invoker with the Kronos here. Do they have any follow-up? They need the Black Hole afterwards, and Sai able to get it onto both of them. The huge combination coming out with the Exo Slam. One more. Secret. cheese off trying to run back now they still don't have mid one but they forced all these buybacks eg are they really going to try and push for more now only time yeah, do you have a feeling you know i it really feels like it could go either way and at this stage i'm wondering if the double huge i, I think the double ravage is puppy the double ravage is kind of scary for me jump 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 finds it on the three not bad at all is it going to be enough though they have the destruction able to keep him alive s4 will go down but rtz is the one to live they buy back on the tide and they just are going to back out now but the bkb used from the sven and now nisha refresher used but no mana for that chronosphere afterwards this is one of those moments you take down s4 he buys back and now another window or if you can take that huge team fight out of the game, give Secret such a huge lead. Jeez, S4 does not have any wiggle room for himself, though. He has to be very careful with the Arcanes and everything. Just can't mess up, because he's also very close, right? With these Anchor Smashes and Gushes, he could run into trouble. Uh, definitely appreciate the fact that he's gotten rid of the face boots, right? Because he yes. needs it when he's gone for this. Refresher, very expensive in the mana department. Only 1,100 on that Tidehunter. So just the double pop, just has to ensure he gets it. And crit, being the one to open up, RTZ, gonna get stunned, Nisha, he throws out another Chrono Spear, but S4 there with the Ravage, they turn this one back around, they have the Chrono Spear, but can they get it? Oh my god, the cataclysm, and the second refresher, is it gonna be enough though? S4, he's in trouble, he's all alone, trying to run away, and is he gonna be able to escape with the BKB wearing off? The answer is looking like maybe, possibly, the Chrono Spear oh. was stolen from Crit to turn it back around. And now the jump forward, they want to take down Crit, able to save his offlaner at the last second. That cost his buyback, but of course, well worth it with S4 not having one. He is out of Ravage for two full minutes, though, and you've got to think that Secret... Well, it doesn't even feel like Secret are willing to fully go into the pit as of yet. A little bit too scary just walking in there. Gotta know, Ravage. Nisha jumps forward, he finds him, blink away, stolen time walk, tries to jump, tries to find... Whoa! Break the catch! Is it Now finding more. The Hex is out as well. Who's that puppy going down? Almost killed. One more right click. Finishes him off. Oh, the defensive black hole is not usually the one that you want, but they needed it there for Nisha. Can he do magic? Grand Mages. 60 minutes in now. No puppy for 60 seconds. EG, in the duration of this game, have been able to take down two of the racks, but as of yet, have mm -hmm. not been able to break for Megas. We Nisha. also have the uh, the Agnos picked up for Sumail, too. All right, Nisha thinking about jumping. He has no vision right now. No vision at all. But they're down on the low ground. Does he spot them out? Not quite. They're behind some trees. And oh, he spots them. He gets Nisha. Soul Catcher already out. Looking for the follow up. Is it going to be? Oh, no. He the break. He's in trouble. The slowdown. The second one. Nisha going to get caught. Nisha going to be killed. 
He has 100 seconds away. Now mid one, trying to run out of their S4. He has a Ravage back up in a second as well, but they can't quite find him as of Dude, yet. Zai's out of there. He's going down to the wave. No one's in the base. Uh, look at this. EG, the tier three tower. We have the black hole. We have the refresher. We have the chrono. They have Just a moon one. chart on Sven. 5,000 gold lead right now for EG. Just what it's looking like, Secret have figured this one out and gotten those big team fights. It goes right back the other way. The jump is there from S4. And still a ton of duration left on that black hole for Rubik. They haven't even had to use it yet. And you see the swing back and forth it goes back to just about 50 50, 62 minutes in. Ice Frog's having some trouble up there in the booth. He's sliding <laughs> it left and right, trying to read what's happening. And you see there the. But it's an enigma. Talent. Oh. Up on the high ground. There's no time for replays. Things are far too dangerous right now. I, I appreciate this production because you never know. Because one moment. Notice. Especially when S4 blinks into a creep wave. Jump forward, finds two. That's a good two to get, but the Aeon Disc already propped. Crit living through this one, trying to find the follow-up. It's going to be there. They take that one. They are going to possibly... No, they can't get two mails. He's walking away. They find the finish. The black hole dropped down onto RTZ. It's not enough. They're trying to run away. Is it going to be enough to break the catch the control? He time walks out of there, but now... The that lets Nisha grab that game-winning chrono. It's oh. one thing to cast your spell, but in order to do it, you gotta see the other guy. <laughs> oh. What more can you say after a game like that? Team Secret getting the adoration from the crowd. Shanghai loves these guys. Shanghai loves the big spells, and I don't...